In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Li3PO4. This is copper 2 chloride and lithium phosphate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Why don't we balance the phosphate ion first? Because we have one here and two phosphates here. I'm going to put a two in front of the lithium phosphate. Phosphates are balanced. Now I have two times three, six lithium atoms. Put a six over here, balances the lithium, six chlorine atoms though, and only two here. Three times two, that's six, but now we have three copper atoms. But that's okay, we have three copper atoms here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chloride's very soluble. Write AQ, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Phosphates in general are insoluble, except with group one, like lithium. This will be aqueous as well. So for the copper 2 phosphate, we said phosphates in general are insoluble. Here we had a group 1 element with the phosphate. Those are soluble. But in general, phosphates are insoluble if you know your solubility rules. So when these two react, this will form a solid. It won't dissolve. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have this precipitation happening here with our solid. Chlorides, very soluble. Lithium compounds, usually very soluble. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on copper, but chlorine, that always has a one minus ionic charge. There's two of them. This will have to be two plus. So we have three of those copper two ions, and we have three times two. So we have six of those chloride ions, Cl minus. Lithium is in group one. That's a one plus ionic charge, and the whole phosphate here three minus. Two times three, so we have six Li plus the lithium ion, two of these phosphate ions. So two PO4, and that's three minus. So the phosphate ion here, that's a good one to remember. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. With net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to keep this copper two phosphate together. And then we said we had positive, negative here. So six lithium ions and then six chloride ions, just like in the reactants. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants here, I have six chloride ions. I also have that in the products. Those are spectator ions. We'll get rid of those. Six lithium ions here and again in the products spectator ions. They're gone. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Li3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus lithium phosphate. You'll note that charge is balanced. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, 6 minus. Those give you a net charge of 0. Over here in the products, neutral compound, net charge of 0. So charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Li3PO4. Thanks for watching.